Alright. Decided it would be a good time to take a bathroom break while I was already up, so. Look at all those rewards! Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. Take everything. Capture novice. Is he using a full set? I am... Excuse me, I am not. It's usually better to kind of mix and match things. You know how Cowboy needs to mount everything? Is that like a state culture thing? No, dude, it's... Alright, listen. Compared to other weapons, I would argue that the Switch Axe is one of the better weapons to do a mount with. Simply because with most weapons, it's actually, as cool as it is, the fact that you're on top of the monster and whatnot, um, if we're to go strictly by numbers, you're actually going to get a DPS loss Hello. mounting with most weapons. Like, for example, the damage, if you were to jump with dual blades and just go across something's back, you'll likely do more damage that doing that than you would mounting and actually, you know, going all the way through until you did your finisher attack. However, something like this, Switch Axe and the Charge Blade, um, the Switch Axe, if you mount, you're getting a zero-sum discharge for free, and the Charge Blade, if you mount, you're going to get a SAAD for free. So, because of that, these weapons are great for mounting, because you're getting that big upfront burst that otherwise you have to build up. Um, something like the longsword, not as good. Um, like the lance. The lance, you get like three thrusts once you get all the way through tapping triangle multiple times. Yeah, it hurts the monster, but you would have gotten way more damage if you just stayed on it and kept poking it to begin with. Cowboy already knows so much about this game. That's because I'm a no-lifer that sunk like 40 hours into the beta to learn everything I could. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing to say, but yeah. There, there was, I probably put at least 40 hours between all the different betas. Like, I am in love with this game. This game is my new... It's my new Dark Souls. Like, you guys know how much time I sunk into Dark Souls. This is the new... This is my new Souls. I'm going to play it into the ground. I'm going to teach people things. But we got a Raytheon. Let's go see what the blacksmith can do for us. Sinister shadows in the swamp. Don't even say things like that, Kaiser. Dark Souls of hunting games, Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, Dragus Tree, Bone Tree. Okay, so the Switch Axe does not have a Raytheon tree. And you tell again the guy who did the weapon comparison, got, his name's Project War. If you look, it's just like P-W-A-R, like Poir. But if you look up like Poir Gaming, you should find his channel. He, he's not very big, he only has like 15,000 subs, but he makes very concise and neat guides. He was the guy, he did a lot of stuff with Neo. Like, if you start looking up Neo builds, you'll see his name a lot. Because he, like, I mean, he made a build with just about everything you could in Neo. Like, when I had questions about Neo, that was usually the guy I could go to. Like, there's a few people I would go to for advice in Neo, and he was one of them. That guy knew all of his shit. So, hopefully, I'm hoping this game's some good growth for him, because he's, he's a pretty solid content creator. You can tell he puts efforts into his videos, so. Um, I'm thinking Monster Hunter will do really good for him. I think it'll help his channel. I think Longsword mechanics are very good about damage output. I mean, Longsword can do damage, but it's a very basic weapon. It's a very basic weapon. I would argue Longsword is the most beginner-friendly weapon. How great is this game, Cowboy? I've never played a Monster Hunter, but I love Soulsborne, Neos, etc. 
you shouldn't think about this like Soulsborne. If anything, for a non-Monster Hunter game, I would say the closest thing to this is probably Dragon's Dogma. If you were to take Dragon's Dogma and like remove the magic out of it and focus on just like the weapon play and the climbing, that's probably the closest comparison I can think of. Um, charge blade, where are you at? Uh, let's see. Ah, the charge blade has a Raytheon ver- oh, wow. I think, wasn't this the one we had in the beta? It was, wow. So the charge blade from the beta was the Raytheon version. Hmm. Raytheon tree. Poison at 240, 468. I mean, I don't have the materials for it, but good to see we found it. Let's see what Raytheon armor looks like. Huh. Surprisingly knight-like. I figured it would be a lot more uh, scaly. I mean, it looks cool, but recovery up, poison resist, poison attack, botanist, and health boost. I don't really like it. I mean, it's, it's interesting, but it's like, I don't know. Kind of looks like alloy, maybe fused with some leather. I'm very used to charge blades, switch axe, and hunting horn, but I'm very impressed with longsword on Monster Hunter World. I mean, they definitely did some good things on Monster Hunter World with the longsword. I'm not going to argue that. My only point is, as, as a veteran hunter, like, the longsword was the very first weapon I used supposed to do hunter oh i was like wait a minute i did that completed seven gaju and 14 vespoids we can knock both of these out really fast i wonder if i can knock them both out on one mission find out is there a transmorgify uh not to my knowledge i know you can do like dying and stuff i believe and change the colors but your armor looks like what you wear. However, there are there are costumes you can put on. I don't think you can just swap in between different armor pieces, but I know like there's the the alloy outfit and then there's like the ninja outfit if you got the deluxe edition. But it's not it's not transmorgify like um it's not like it was in like Neo, for example. You can explain about skills, how to get skills like earplugs and such. I see squares on skills. How does it work? Um, skills usually come in from your gear. So let me, once we load in, I can, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a little bit better explanation. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Because you, you can't, like, there's no, in Monster Hunter, there's no, like, experience. Your hunter is only as strong as what he's wearing. So if I go back to all basic bitch gear, I could go on, like, a level 1 hunt with Bob, and I wouldn't be overpowered at all. But So if I go to uh, change equipment, for example, if we look through the armors, you can see how, see how it says skills, attack boost. And then, you know, this one, oh, hang on. Um... This one, it has Affinity sliding on it. This one has Scent Hound. So, all of these skills come from the armor that you're wearing. So, right now, all of my armor, I got Attack Boost 1 from my chest. I got Health Boost Level 1 from my helm. Entomologist from my boots. Scent Hound from my pants. And Affinity from my gloves. Now, like you said, there's different squares. So, for example, attack, as you can see, looking here, can go all the way up to plus 7, where you get 5% affinity and 21 attack. So, to get that, there's higher tier gear, which would have, like, for example, instead of a level 1 attack boost, you could find a piece of gear that has level 3 attack boost. On top of that, you can stack pieces. So, if I have a helm that has attack level 1, and gloves with attack level 1, and pants with attack level 1, when I come to this screen, like, you know, each one will have level 1, level 1, level 1, but when I go to equip skills, attack boost will show level 3, because I have three different pieces that have that attack boost on them. So, basically, stacking up 
gear that have matching skills is going to be how you get those those higher points. Yeah, gears can also have more slots. Like, for example, you could have gear that has, like, attack and defense on it, or attack and something else on it. It, it just depends on the gear. I mean, early on in the game, you're really just going to want to go for whatever looks good, whatever you think is going to work best. Late game is where you're going to start finding the stuff that has multiple skills on it. You won't really find... Like, you won't even really find anything with two skills on it until a good while later. Oh, yeah, I, I already put in a vacation leave for tomorrow. Is it possible to upgrade gear to level up skills? When you upgrade gear, all you're really upgrading is the defensive abilities of it. You're not increasing um, the skill ratio on it. But I'm not, I will say I'm not 100% on that because I never really like. I, ha I have a very good mechanical base when it comes to Monster Hunter, but I didn't put enough time into the previous ones that I played to really know for sure. Like, oh yeah, you can definitely do this, or oh no, you can't. I don't even know how that hit me. Info. Wonder if I'll get the Gaju credit or not. No, not 24 hours. I I have finally gotten used to waking up at 6 a.m. for work. I am not fucking it up now. It is. What time is it now? It's seven o'clock. I'm probably gonna stream till about ten. And then uh, when I get off, I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to wake up at probably about 7 in the morning. Since I have off, I'll sleep in a little bit, do a workout. I'm going to get some food and then I will do a uh, like an all-day type stream. But not, I refuse to sacrifice the sleep schedule that I've worked so hard to fix. I can't do it. How do you tell if a monster is weak to a certain element? Well, the easiest way, of course, is going to be just hitting it with that element and seeing if it does more damage. So, the fastest way to do that would be bring a, uh, you know, bring either a bow or a bow gun and then actually hit the monster. Like, hit it with water ammo. How much damage does it do? Hit it with fire ammo. How much damage does it do? But there's usually pretty straightforward weaknesses, like... For example, if something is flying up in the air, there's a good chance that if you hit its wings with lightning, you're going to do damage to it. If something is a, uh, you know, if, some, if something lives in the water, like if you're fighting a fish, well, you can probably, it's a safe bet that for the most part, thunder will probably hurt it. If you're fighting a giant fire type beast, water is probably going to hurt it or ice. So... Kind of think, think like common sense. I don't want to say like Pokemon terms, but you know that does kind of count. Like if something, you know, there's there's kind of common sense things. It's too high. Get down here, you little shit. That's why I love the Switch X. Just. Sorry, Miamers. Seems like they're just infinitely respawning here. I could probably just chill here until I have this all done.
Yeah, they're all like spawning out of that tree. I wish I had something for my pod. I can shoot it real fast. Is there an easier way to access your items in the bottom right, like a quick menu? Yes. You just push the right stick in, or not right stick, if you hit uh, L1, you can see that you have two different things of shortcuts. You can either tap these to swap what's on your Hot Wheel, and then you can use the Hot Wheel. So shortcut ones, meds, weight stones, ammo, pulls ammo up, communication, remotes, shortcut two is custom. But I would highly suggest going into options and uh, go options and then go type two. Because otherwise what happens is it's flick. So it's like you just flick your stick you just, and it'll use a potion. And at least in my experience, I found that I was constantly... Um, if you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract When I was trying to do that, like, I constantly, like, I had to, like, keep flicking it and keep flicking it and keep flicking it. And it just, it didn't work out as well. So if you put it on type 2, it makes it so you go over and then you click the stick in. And so, for me at least, having that, that feedback, it helps a lot. I find it a lot more consistent and like, okay, yeah, I just did this move. This is going to go off. Changing those entirely, like editing all four roulettes. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Um, I haven't dug around in the options enough yet myself, so. I know you can, like, shortcut two, I believe, is all customs, but a lot of this stuff is basic stuff. You know, your potions, your whetstones, your SOS flare, your steaks. But, like, you can see, like, we have cooking stuff here, we have SOS, we have whetstones, then we have first aid stuff here. I don't think any more of those guys are going to spawn for me, so let's go right here. Alright, those are Gaijus, never mind. Uh, Vespids, Gaiju, Gaijus, Seros, Kestadons, Vespids. Might kill Baroth while we're here. Because I could use the uh, parts. Oh, we'll see. I mean, you don't have to play this game in 30 FPS if you have a pro. I bought a pro just for this game. <laughs> yeah, this is like, no. Nah, I want this to look as beautiful, smooth as possible. think this will work, but I'm going to pick up a Webern egg and see if it'll teleport the egg back to camp with me. Because if so, that's super awesome. I already have a PS4, but I don't really have the money to buy a pro version as well. Well, sell your PS4 and then get a pro version. Problem solved. Nope, drops the egg, breaks it. <laughs> Bully and meat was added to the menu. Nice.
I mean, the game actually plays pretty smooth on console. Even on regular PlayStation 4, like, I didn't notice crazy issues. Okay. We're on the hunt. Uh, new quest. We are going to knock out Is it? Yes, seven got you. Hunting monsters on your own can get tough. Fire an SOS and someone will join the quest. Basically, it's the game's way of being like, a little bitch that needs help all the time. Did you not properly prepare for this? And now you're getting your ass whooped and need daddy to come in and protect you? Use the SOS and daddy will come in and protect you. Overall thoughts on the game, it is fantastic. It's everything 2018 needed to not start off as a shitty year. The combat's fun for those that just want to smash monsters. Challenge is right for the harder stuff for those that are the, uh, the hardcore players. There's lots of grind and stuff you can do for the completionists. There's lots of slaughter, as you see, for people that just want to beat the shit out of some fish. There's lots of flashy effects for the anime fans. God. Dude, I burned through my freaking sharpness so fast right there. I feel bad that this guy is still alive. There you go, buddy. Now you can go onto the grill with your friends. Yeah, dude, just gotta wiggle those fingers, bruh. your liver. Are the small damage number is normal for Monster Hunter. I mean, we're we're still very much at like the start of the game. Like I have a like tier 2 or 3 weapon. Like the weapon I'm using is made from the first thing you hunt. So this is still really early. Like late game once you start getting some crazy stuff, you start seeing bigger numbers, but we're, we're still really early right now. Head to the Wildspar Waste immediately. Yes? I 
God, dude, you get so much research points for doing eggs. Look at this, I'm getting like next to nothing. Collecting uh, to unlock an investigation to make these available special quests which may have additional reward slots. I ask you to slay multiple monsters. Time limit. The investigation you get depends on the areas you're exploring. Slay 10 Kestadon. Rewards. Bunch of rewards. Flourishing. Locale information. Mining outcrops. Flourishing cacti. Flourishing fruit. Paint one time. Kill Baroth and Dude. And I get three rewards. Hunt Baroth and get three rewards. Hunt Kulaku and get three silver things. Hmm. I'll add those in. No, I don't, I don't. I don't need a great gyros. Let's do these two. Seven thousand. Oh, that's yummy. What is this ancient forest? It's the only other level three I got, and it's Puke and Kukulaku for five thousand. I'll add it on. All right, some bounties, ancient forest quests, honey. I need one more. Insects, I'll knock that out fast. Hunt large monsters, that's coming soon. I'll slaughter eight. Big two quests. Let's go do some ancient forest stuff. Mm -hmm. Slap that on. Okay, what quest do I want to go on? Let's see. Landing the landslide, however. Capture a Baroth. Money for that's crap. Sinister shadows in the swamp. Hunter rank three or higher. Investigations. Let's try this. Players two. I don't need to. We'll go by ourselves. The time on this. Is there a time limit? 30 minutes. That's easy enough. Uh, voucher. Yes. Use a lucky voucher and post or join the quest. That'll jump my reward money up quite a bit. Let's do it. A double hunt in 30 minutes. Get lots of materials. Do it. Double the hunt, double the rewards. This is going to give me money for a while. After this, I'll be able to just eat on every hunt. All about the food, baby. All about the food. Issues with lock-on? There is no lock-on, Gray Fox. That's why. All lock-on does is it orients your camera. You still have to manually... Manually uh, target everything. Uh, anyway, let's see. Attack up small. Hmm. Attack up small. Defense up element. Attack up small. It's just attack up and stamina. That's attack up and stamina. Attack up and stamina. God, all these things suck. Fresh ingredients. I need more fresh ingredients. Get this one. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do we got in here? What are you supplying me with for this? 
First aid, easy rations. Wow, they are really making me do all the work here. Alright, manage items. Uh, gunpowder. Alright, uh, where's my trap? I might those bad boys out. Should do more cat chef. I've done all the quests he has for now. I mean, he might have more since I just finished up his most recent quests. What are those? I've seen those things before. <laughs> right, never mind. They're all running away. Let's go uh, find our target here. Got 30 minutes. I don't want to. Can't afford to sit around and waste time. I had to get some of the better, um. Better stuff so I could start getting together, um. Is this enough to get the slide bonus? Yes, it is. Not happy with me doing that. Back here. It's dead already. You are a raider. Legendary. Yeah, this is full game. And Switch Axe just absolutely murdered Kulalaku. God, I almost feel bad about that. Just laid right into it, and then mounted it, and then just annihilated it. Still put up a campfire and cook your own meat. Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, if I have... Here we go. Timing is everything. The color of the meat and the song are clues. Nice. That looks so tasty. Mmm, so tasty. Well done, steak. Lots of stamina. There is a Odachi. I wouldn't really say it's a katana. This poop smells fresh. 
think the Baroth may be near. I think we literally just passed it. Oh. Oh, is he in his home? Is he in his home? If I was hitting those tracks, I wouldn't have even come back here for a while. This is usually like... After I've already been looking around. You don't need a tail, do you, Bear Off? I don't think you do. The last time I was here, I didn't get your tail. This time, it's coming home with Daddy. dry land. Oh shit. Oh come on dude, no. Oh no, I Superman dove. I did not want a Superman dive. Alright. that bear off I said you don't need this tail he's gonna die before I can get the tail that's not okay I want his tail I'm doing too much damage Jumping platform. Come on, man. Oh. Damn it. I could not get his tail. I'm going to have to go down to a lower grade weapon. Some bullshit, dude. Who knew great joggers would give such a great weapon? Seriously, this thing is brutal. Like, I'm slaughtering with it. Oh, Bearoth tail. Alright, well hey, I guess it's not all, all it's not all bad. I ended up getting its tail anyway, even though I didn't cut it. Alright. I can't wait to get like whatever the next switch X is, because it's going to be freaking monstrous. 
What's so special about the tail? It's just that I can... All right, so the main reason to cut off the tail is... So when you carve the monster, you usually get about three carves on it. Um, sometimes you'll get with like certain monsters, you can get up to four. Um, but by cutting the tail off the monster in advance, I can carve the tail. And then when the monster goes down, I can still carve the monster for loot. Baroth Ridge, Kulai Kubik, and Fertile Mud. Baroth Mud. So I get rare rewards, basically, for doing these. Anjanath isn't even showing up as a hunt. I could definitely kill it at this point. But it's not even showing up as a, uh, a hunt to go on. Yeah, you can break a piece of his head off. So by breaking stuff off, you're basically getting those parts without having to get them via RNG on your carve. So it's just, it's it's better because, you know, I can be like, all right, I have the tail, I have the scalp, and I'm going to get, you know, three nice carves out of them. Shit, I didn't mean to go back to camp. Um, We're on the hunt. Yeah, what other quests do we have here? Let's do... Uh, I guess let's do the Sinister Shadows in the Swamp thing. No vouchers. But I don't need vouchers. I probably have a ton of gold now. Shadow. So what am I supposed to okay. do? Let's look for the scholar. He must have left some kind of trail. Oh, a scholar just up and dipped, and now we gotta go find him. I wanna kill one of these things, because I haven't yet. You look like you taste good. Kelby's. We having Kelby steak tonight, boys. Some white livers. And some raw meat. Footprints. Where? Where the footprints go? Yes! Oh man, Chris Odd coming in with that host. Welcome, viewers. Chris, if you're here, how how are your hunts? Feeling the game? Is it coming along? Is it getting you? Is it getting you sexually excited? Because that's what it does to me. Affinity. Glad that Monster Hunter is as good as you would have hoped it to be. It, yeah, this is honestly, it's been a while since I've seen a game that's come out that's this good, but has been like a transformation. Because, you know, Monster Hunter has been around for a long time, but as handheld. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's it's been on PlayStation 2 and whatnot, but it was mainly known as a handheld. PSP, 3DS, stuff like that. And so to finally see it on like full blown console and in all of its glory, it is truly something beautiful. It is very rare that you see something go from what's primarily a mobile format to. Oh, Trap Whiz. Just to come with us. Great, let's bring him along. Come, other kitty people. So, yeah, good execution, great environments, plenty to do, good weapon variety, 10 out of 10. But I will say that lip sync, the lip, the lip sync is pretty bad, but I'm not going to drop a point off a score for a lip sync.
Oh, near Gigante. Yep, this missing scowler is probably dead. Something strange is with the scout flies. Wonder if we're about to fight near Gigante. Let me let me whetstone up here. You can switch weapons mid-game. Just go back to your tent where all your equipment's at. You can switch weapons and armor all around. It's whatever works. It, is that the scholar? What's that he's sitting next to? It looks like a a Baroth? Dude, it looks like Nier Gigante slaughtered a bear off. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. God, don't let him find me. Don't let him find me. Oh, I, I saw it. Who Baroth got destroyed? No, the Juratotus that didn't kill the Baroth. It was uh, uh. Oh God, it's right here, dude. Oh, it's just the Juratotos coming in. <laughs> Look at it just eating the bear off like it's a snack. Oh, where's this fish at? This fish is about to get ruined. Giratotos. New target. New target. Ah. One thing that's gonna be tricky here, I don't have much stamina. I need to... Oh, you wanna go this way? You wanna go up towards dry land? Yeah, we can do that. Let's go towards dry land. I like dry land. Let's do that. Oh, now it doesn't wanna go near dry land. Oh, no! Alright, let's get my stamina up some. This is when it does its water blade. Looks like he's bringing his fishy friends into the mix. Oh god, I need to back out. I need to move. No, oh no, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> oh my god. Our first faint and it's to a Jiratotos? Come on, man. Of all the things to go down to. That's probably the most disappointing thing. Basically went down to a big catfish, yep. Well, you guys know what's on the menu for tonight. That was just a really bad situation though, because I got I had I had the Girototos to my right pinning me down, and then I had the little fish on my left, and it's like I just couldn't move at all. So there wasn't really to run away.
That's irritating, knowing that I already had it low enough to run. Where's it going? God, I'm being chain stuck in mud. Wow. There we go. I think this thing needs a discharge in its face. Exhaust files finally kicking in. Hide right here, it won't see me. Do you think I'm just going to let you have a snack? Killing me, it thinks I'm gonna let it go away. Oh. 
I think I made it angry. Coming along for the ride! I've never actually seen it go over this way to sleep. up my hunt. Freaking kill me once. How many level worlds are there? There's five zones, as far as I know. What was, uh, what was Chris using? Or was he playing this? Because I know he got his code, like, right around when I did, but remember he said his PlayStation was installing pretty slow. I gotta figure out. I'm curious what weapon he was going with. Now you can make scuba suit with his parts. This is the medium monster of the second zone. Eh, I don't. I don't know. I think he. I think Girotodos qualifies as a large. Because Baroth qualifies as a large, and this thing can take down Baroth, so I think it it falls into the. I mean, now if we're con if we're comparing it strictly by size of monsters, both Girotodos and Baroth could be considered medium in comparison to Diablos. But I think technically it is considered a large monster, like by game definition of uh you know, what counts as, like, killing or capturing a large. Any idea how many boss monsters there are? I mean, everything's technically like a boss monster until you kill it for the first time. Diablos is the pimp of the region, which is ironic, because it's a herbivore. <laughs> Which is Gather important. Around, everyone. We're ready to thanks to you. We've made great strides. Oh, this this whole scene's voice acted. That have turned up across the continent. Our researchers have done some projections. And now we know where Zora Magdaros will go next. It's heading for the Great Ravine. The Great Ravine? The huge valley out past the Wildspire? Correct. So I have a proposition for all of you. I say we try and capture Zora once it gets there. What? Have you gone mad? <laughs> yes, thank you. Things the size of a mountain. The ravine is the perfect terrain for staging such an event. We're not going to get a better chance than this. <laughs> Meowskular chief. If we don't take this opportunity, it could be a decade before the next opportunity presents itself. Maybe longer. Is it even possible? If I said it wasn't, would that stop you? Let's give it a go. With the fit supporting us, our chances are as good as ever. Then it's settled. Before we send the hunters out for the capture, we need to secure Astera. An Anjanath has been active in the area. Not the kind of monster you toy around with. We'll need a plan for it. Oh, come on, dude. Anjanath will go down easy. You're right. 
Hunters, you have your next assignment. Take care of that Anjanath. I've been calling it Anjanath, so it's the good Anjanath to see it's supposed to be Anjanath. One slip up and you're done. Commander, if I may, I think I have a great idea. Hunter, I could use your help. Drop by later, if you will. Another thing. That troubling report we received. Think you could... Right. <laughs> we got like a knockoff Dark Souls boss Good in the background. Man. Let's get this show on the road. We have an Elder Dragon to capture. Everyone dismissed. I don't know how they're gonna capture Zora though. Like it's you it's probably listen to what the chief botanist has to say before we do anything else. It's like the size of Godzilla and it has like basically a volcano on its back. Like how do you even capture something like that? Whoa. Toby Kadachi in the forest. First tour we managed to complete. <laughs> Gilly Mantle! Oh, I need mantles. Mantles are so good. Our next assignment is to hunt Toby Kadachi. We should be able to find it in the ancient forest. So let me go pick up some missions real fast. Two entomologies, so I'll make it easy. Got two ancient forest quests, small monster culling, and I need one thing of honey. See what this guy has for sale. So I got a pretty good stockpile now. Yeah, thirty thousand. We're we're looking good there. Um, honestly, it doesn't really have much. Slicing ammo is only twelve zenny. Whatever ammo is sixty-two. Spread is four. Right, ammo is not that bad. The slicing is super effective, and if it's only twelve. I kind of want to buy a load up on those. Load up on barrel bombs. Uh, crafting lights. Bomb. Usually give me tranked bombs. Comfortable. Support, drink bomb, large barrel bomb, gunpowder, you cannot carry anymore. Bah! I have the barrels for it at least. I ha I've, I've, I've only seen the, uh, <clears throat> the cat use the, the boomerang. I don't know if I can actually do anything with it myself, but I need to, uh, Kelby horn. I already that off, pitfall trap. Sleep herb, parish rooms, dung pods, fire herb, sight shrooms, raw meat, flash pods are good to have. Do I have any shock traps? I do. Let me set up. <clears throat> I want to set up uh, traps. A couple things on. Oh, I can't auto craft these. I like to like auto craft. Throwing knife. Where do I get throwing knives from? Because I would definitely like to auto craft para knives and sleep knives and poison knives. I need to find. I need to buy knives and I can't. Oh, I can. Okay. Wrap tool. Underbugs. Didn't I have. 
shock traps and thunder ammo. Parish room required a draft. Hang on, what was it? Knives, parish rooms, sleep herb, toadstools. Let me go back out there, and I bet that guy sells knives. Just make the bear off set so he can be Havel the Rock Monster Hunter. Literal rock. I don't think you can play as a Palico. I mean, there might be like some Palico subquest at some point, but it's not like a uh, standard thing. I wonder where I get the knives from. Mm. I'd like to start making throwing knives, but maybe that's something that comes in after I start getting the ghillie suits and whatnot. Powder right now, so let me uh, up those. Let's see what Jirado's armor looks like. Forge armor. Aquatic expert muck, water attack, ice resistance, and focus. It looks absolutely nothing like a Girototos, and I look like I'm some space mech anime character. I'm a rocky boy. Hey, there is a Girototos tree. Alright, I need an aqua sack. I wonder where I get that. Three. 85, so it's the same. I get water added on and a power element file. I would need to find a water sack. Wish list. That do. pretty badass. Aqua sack. There should be a way to like move over. You can only get knife from supply box. Oh, that's kinda crappy. Um oh, no. This is there. Bone Raytheon. Oh, there's also Geototo. That. Same thing. I need an Aqua Sack. I'm assuming it's like a rare thing that comes out of the Geototos. 96 on the damage for that. 6 on the bone. 6 on there. With impact files. Oh, looks like I need I need to make that before I could make the So hang on, if I get If I get that sack I could make this. Like I kinda wanna like mess around with something else for a little bit just because I've been using the switch axe for so long. Um the lance or this guy deviation is average 
Deviation is low. Deviation is average, but it has the affinity decrease and the defensive bonus. I could make a power rifle. 182 damage on it. If I go down the ore tree, 156 damage on it. 69. Hmm. I think I'm going to make a light bow gun. I had a lot of fun with Light Bowgun and Beta. You could do some silly stuff with this thing. And it's at a Rarity 3 tier, which is pretty good. I mean, if you consider this, damage on this was only, uh, it's a Rarity 2. But I'm going to want to go get some ammo. Particular slicing ammo. Yeah, this is on a pro with the uh, FPS setting. All about them frames. Hmm. I already have 30. Like everything I could need, basically. Alright, let's go then. I thought you are supposed to be able to access quests. Pokebook. Expedition. That's just an expedition. I guess if you want to do quests, you can't do it from there. Uh, optional quests do I got right now? Capturing the Baroth. Toby Kodachi. This thing. Flying Sparks. Something I haven't seen before. I'm pretty sure this bowgun can use slicing. I oh, know you can't use like, um, like you can't use like cluster ammo with it, and I don't think you can use Weber and ammo, but light bowguns can use slicing. I'm gonna need it probably. So for this thing is what I, th I think this is the like silver dragon thing that jumps and flips all over the place. Tools, you'll need to equip it from the item bar. I actually don't s I don't see like slicing. Regular, if the tool you're Damn, yeah, this thing can't use slicing. That sucks. Can I use normal? I can use pierce one. 
Oh, you know what? I can't use a lot of the level 2 stuff. That's probably why. I can use sticky one. Alright, what were we, she was saying something about equipping my ghillie. So you she talked about customized radial stone. Got some spread, some pierce. Thought I had normal three, but I'm not seeing it. Even then, this thing is pretty, pretty leveled up. Should have pulled out uh, equipment before we left. Go back real fast. They had for me. So I can always start with sticky ammo. One more honey. We'll grab that real fast. It's right over there. I didn't see any elemental ammo, which is why I was kind of confused, because... Like you said, that's what it specializes in, because it's triple shot, but I did not see any, um, I didn't see any ele elemental when I was looking. It wasn't for sale, wasn't in my bin. I think it might be like a tier 2 type thing, like I need to get to the next tier of bow guns, and then I'd have it available. I mean, more than likely I'll go back to switch axe in just a little bit here, but I wanted to, uh, mix it up. Try something else. Plus, I'm hunting a brand new monster for the first time, so use a different weapon. So far, Raytheon is the only thing that's, like, new that I've run into. Even then, with it just being the female version of a Rathalos, it wasn't really all that amazing. It was just kind of like, oh, alright, I'll take you down. This, this is going to be something we've never fought before. fast. The light bow gun is a lightweight range 
weapon that's great for quick attacks and maneuverability. No place to hide around here. Time to try out your ghillie mantle. It's like a flying squirrel that had sex with a dragon. Oh god, no. No, no, no! Oh man, I'm stunned. This thing is gonna... ...come down on me. No. Get it, Meowmers. the rocket that's in your mouth. Is it not going to come for me? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on right down here, right to this trap. Gotta, you gotta hit those full body shots. That's what it's all about, man. Oh, oh shit! I didn't see that coming. I need to, to do some serious uh, first aiding up. Oh god, and I'm stunned. The armor is distract for me. Harden himself? No, I'm just getting shit shots on him. If 
I can knock him out for a second, I can start doing some serious damage to him. Now that I got my weapon blasts up. Yeah, you ever seen this? I'm gonna shove my gun in your face. I'm honestly not even sure what this finisher looks like. I don't know if I've ever done it. A big dick damage. It's like having non-stop uh, like bombs just going off on something. I gotta get closer to it. I gotta get closer to it. Come on. Not in a good sweet spot to do damage right now. Never let you escape. Am I out of pierce? Yeah, I'll do normal one then. Boom! Shotgun to the face. My Jagras? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. I definitely got to get to where I have uh, elementals, but considering I just went straight up the bone path, I'll. Uh, this will be a good weapon to keep keep around for when I can do that. Got a scale, a pelt, and then uh, some other thing from it. So not bad. Not bad. I feel like I probably would have absolutely destroyed its face with Switch Axe, but it's good to mix it up a little bit. I need to go take down another Girototos and try and get the, uh, what's it called? The frickin' uh, Charge Blade. So I would want to go to the Poison Charge Blade. Raider Unity. More ingredients. The canteen has been upgraded! Drop something, a red stone. That was just a, um... That was something I could pick up. It was a piece of, uh, slinger ammo. What's your final decision regarding the dual swords? I mean, they're, they're fantastic. They're just... They're a very kind of basic weapon. Like, at the end of the day, I when I play a weapon, I want some kind of, like, big explosive payoff. Now, whether that's the... Zero sum discharge on the switchblade, or the A S A E D super Just on the the charge blade, or dropping down the explosives with the light blowgun and then spam firing freaking shotgun shots while they just explode in something's face. I want something like that. 
And with dual blades, I don't have that. It's just damage, 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 damage. They are good. There's no question the about that, Come but it doesn't... Quest. I don't know. It doesn't tickle my giant explosion fetish like the other weapons do. Getting bigger all the time. Plants, mushrooms, and insects and produce more of them for you. Ah. You can use research points to increase the amount of items produced. Okay. Okay, so let's cultivate... Honey. Let's cultivate honey. Honey is always good. And then fertilize. hundred points? Yeah, use that. Alright, and now I need to craft up some freaking mega potions. I haven't been picking up herbs. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. No mega potions. Uh, who else has a quest for me? You have a quest. What do you want? Let's get the lead out. Signing up for a prickly Hurry predicament? God, there's so many things. 20 bobble cactuses? Oh, my God, come on, lady. You know how much work that is to get you some cactuses? You should love the gun lance. See, the gun lance is like the exception to the rule, because you just blow out an explosion, and then you shove the spear in something, and you do that twice, and then you've already lost, like, all of your durability. Yes, it's explosive, but that's, like, all the gun lance has, is let me dump out all of my damage, and then resharpen my blade. Let me dump out my damage and sharpen my blade. It's just, I don't know. Whereas the switch axe and the charge blade, you, know, you have you have a good, a good uh, I guess, combination of doing lots of damage and then dumping oh. out with a high hitting move. So it, it feels, it feels good. Kadachi stuff. I look like I'm wearing uh, stall rim armor from Skyrim. Thunder resistance, thunder attack, evade extender. These are what I need. Oh my god. That makes switch axe so good. It makes lance so good too. I'd have to sacrifice my, uh, my freaking affinity slide though, which is so nice. Oh man, but evade extender is super freaking useful. Like, no discussion. Oh, man. I need it. I need it. Ultimately, Evade Extender is going to be worth it for me. I need the evasion. And let's uh, make some. Let's look at some upgrade paths. Bear Wrath. There is no upgrade for that. Okay. Uh, about you. You don't have an upgrade from the thing we killed. I mean, even if you have decent sharpness, it's still a problem, though, because. Doing a full load of shelling and doing a Weverin Spike, it, it eats. It burns through your sharpness at an extreme rate. Weverin Snipe. No deviation at all. Obi Kadachi. Uki is a Weverin Snipe with low deviation. Attack 180, attack 180. That's really nice. No bullet deviation, 180 attack, 10% affinity caked into it in Wevern Snipe. Great Jagras is Wevern Heart with 180. Aqua Assault. Doesn't even have an element on it. 
Cool blades are super effective. They're just very, uh, sit around. Thunder! Power element file. Thunder. With a 10% affinity on it. Ooh, man. And to make it, all I would need. So it's 396. Damn, the poison is still better at 468. But this is element. So having 90 thunder caked into it. Can't discount that. And it has 10% affinity caked in. I need to go hunt some Toby Kadachis. Look at the lances. Water lance. 150, 253. That lance minus his affinity and gives you the defense boost. 22. Poison Lance 230. 15 Affinity 253. I don't really have anything I need to make like a really solid Lance at the moment. Probably go this route though for the Caked in Affinity on it. I know they don't have elements, but I mean, there's the point is why, why call it the water element tree when it doesn't enhance an element? You know, other other guns could use water. We don't have to be in the water element tree. Aqua Slasher, Arpus Buster. Looming blade. Boy. Jagger's one looks pretty swick. Todos, uh, Obi Kadachi. Those look pretty cool. Got thunder built in. Go to level two. Those look silly. Stockpile guy has a quest for me now. I really want to make a new switchblade, but I'm like missing all the materials to make something real good. It's a quest for me, buddy. New products in stock. Products, you say? Oh, bait. Oh, there we go. Flaming ammo, water ammo. Now he's got it all. You didn't have these before. Cannot repeat completed assignments. Oh. Well, that sucks. That kind of makes things hard to do a, uh, a walkthrough series with. <laughs> Urgent. Pookie pookie. Okay, uh, instead. Wasn't I supposed to go kill an Anjanath? Why isn't that a quest showing up, though? Oh, speak to field team leader. Derp to der. All right. You almost finished. We gotta kill Anjanath. Oops.
Hold nothing back. Okay, time to wrap up defending the base. I'll probably pull out my switch axe for this dude. Either that or I could pull out charge blade, but I don't know what uh let me see. Let me see. I feel like I live at the blacksmith. I'm just constantly here, like, yep, let's see what you got. Uh Madness axe. Can't upgrade that to rarity three. Can't upgrade that. Who to get that? Bone Smasher, 490. What am I at with mine? I need medium monster bones? That's all I'm missing? Hmm. Oh, oh, wait. Flame Sack? Oh, man. A tier 3 version? And it looks like it uses Anjanath parts. I think I know what I'm going for. Giant flaming switch axe. Mmm. Yes. Tasty sounding. Let's go. And I need to make the bear with that one first. Alright. Let's go. We're doing this. Debating whether I should get this game or something else. Well, I mean, it really depends. Do you want to have, like, the best experience that's ever come to console gaming? Or do you want to be bored and give something back to GameStop in, like, a month because it's dull? If the former, obviously, you want Monster Hunter World. Uh, pay with points. 200 zenny or 100 points. I mean, I got money for days. You got any new... new things for me? Back up small... Oh, wait. Oh, that's attack up. Oh, wait. Look at that. Health, stamina, and it boosts my palico. Fuck yeah, dude. Give me the yum predictable platter. Look at him go! I want an army of cat people to cook me dinner. sounds biased. No, it doesn't. It's based on truth. Based on truth! We got this. There'll be hair in your food? Nah, man, they're careful. I'm glad I used my voucher, because I used the voucher on a mission that was worth like 7,000. Heart. I don't need no one to come along on my hunts. At least not this stuff. Until we open up like second tier hunts and shit, like, nah. I am solo boy. Chef Cat is so cool. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. Chef Cat's pretty awesome. You are a raider. Legendary. I want this game, but my backlog is five games already. I mean, sometimes you just gotta decide, man. You just gotta decide, what do I want to play? And sometimes that choice is very Our one clearly gonna be to something better. I go sex. Let's pull this baby out. Yeah, our number one priority is to secure the Anjana thing. Alright, let's go. Boost that up a pinch. Flash pods on. Got the bombs, I got the traps. Let's find this bad boy.
Wait, those are Anjanel footprints all the way out here? We're already on them. Stupid Jagras. I don't have my sliding bonus super critical attacks anymore. Yo, I just got a scale from that? That is awesome. No, 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 I did not mean to do that. Is he right here? Oh, he, okay. All right, never mind. I can work that in then. Oh, no, the cutscene's him just having great joggers for lunch. He's like, this is dinner. Oh, my God. But hell yeah, dude. I'm going to jump up here. I'm going to swing down. I'm going to fuck this thing up. Hunter is dirty. <laughs> Anjanov is pissed. Uh-oh, it looks like you done made a mistake. Guess whose weapon is already charged up, big boy? Oh, you still hit hard, I see. But I have a Vade Extender! Yo, I'm gonna totally carve that Jagras. I'm supposed to mount you. No, my, my power is running out. No. Ah, oh, shit. Don't mind me. I'm just carving a Jagras back here. You just you know, do your thing. She's like, who the fuck? Is this dude carving up my lunch right now? Oh, -ho -ho! not so fast. Okay, 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 yeah, pretty, pretty good. That charge is going to run off before I can do anything with it. I wonder if he just got pissed off and left, or if he was actually, like, weakened enough already, or what the case was. I mean, either way, I'm about to mount his ass. Oh, what the? Come on, dude.
He's gonna get fucked up by Wrath of Lost, dude. Rathos is like, bitch, get out of here. This is my neighborhood. Anjan now all butt hurt and angry now. I know Rathos is looking at me now. My, my eye frames. Rathalos, no! I didn't. I'm sorry that I killed your wife. It was an accident. I swear it was. I mean, it wasn't an accident, but I'm sorry still. I really do mean it. Please stop. Please. No. Rathalo is trying to get fucking feisty with me, dude. I mean, I get it. He's angry. I murdered his his wife, but you don't gotta be like that. What? What was that? What was that? <laughs> Oh my god, what are you doing? Got a mount! Got a mount! Got it! That's what I wanted to see! Yeah! Take the tail! Cut the tail off! I have no potions right now. Dude, I have no potions. What the fuck? I am a bad hunter. How have I ignored all this time? I... I... I've been so busy murdering everything, I forgot to pick up potions. Oh god. Don't, don't see me, please. I don't want to fight you. This is, this, I actually, I ran out of potions on purpose, you see. This is the, uh, extra hard hunt. Oh no, I got max potions. We good, we good, we good. Oh, rations. Where's that fresh meat I just cooked at? Yeah, there it is. Yummy. Give me the booty, I want the booty. Got some sub hype coming in. Seance. I'm gonna have to like actually spend some time going through and like just getting potions. I got the max potion. I got sleep knives. Maybe I put him to sleep and then bomb his face. Obviously, I should do that, but. Agra scale. Once one of your specialized tools' effect has expired, unequip it. 
After it recharges, you can use it again. Oh no. Oh no. Ouch. Um you know what? I probably got herbs in in here. I probably got some stuff in the box. Yeah, wow. What is the, uh, feels bad. The feel when you die because all of your potions were back in your inventory and you were too dumb to remember that they were there. Disappointed in myself. Ten potions, ten potions. They're all along. This thing taking me. Gotta climb up, maybe? Screw it. I need bones anyway. You can play him for about six and a half hours, so don't beat yourself up about it. Please, please don't hit me, dude. Oh god damn you. It just had to hit me. I think it's this way. This way. Yeah, he's right here. What's up, buddy? How did that miss him? Try it again. Ow. God, he hurts. Oh shit, no. Oh god, no. Well, this should tire him out so I can drink another potion at least. Oh shit! But he has trouble getting through this, and I just basically let him hit me in the face there. Alright, hang on. If we're gonna do this, let's, let's do it right. 
Oh boy! Oh my god, dude. What the f- Now he's tired? Oh no, 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 sir. No, no, no. It doesn't work that easy, dude. No, what? No, he's not gonna go. Mm. Dude, did you just waste a fucking pitfall trap? I swear to God he did. That makes me so upset. If I had just waited like a little bit. You like the scout fly? Huh? You like it? You like that, you asshole? Let him munch. No! Oh my god. All I needed to do was avoid that munch. I will say, Anjanath is definitely a much bigger threat now than he was back in beta. In beta, he still very much felt like a, okay, scary guy, let's take you down. Now I actually feel like I'm, you know, I'm in a battle. If I take him down, I will gain access to the super awesome Anjanath fire switch axe. It doesn't help that I my uh, shit completely whiffed. If my pitfall trap had hit him, he'd probably be dead right now, but... He was like, no, I'm making it right. I was like, really, dude? <laughs> oh, never mind, he's dead anyway. How'd you like it? Boom! <laughs> that finish, baby! Give me your shit. Carve you up like a fucking pumpkin. Got a fang, got a scale, got a fang. All right. Good job. Yeah. Honestly, I think I might go back to my critical boost. Like, I like... Evade Extender is obviously good, but with it only being level 1 Evade Extender, I don't think it's enough. I think I need, like, level 2 or level 3. Ugh. 
There's no such thing as an immovable object or an unstoppable force. I would disagree. Never seen my wiener before. Damn, two faints. I didn't get fuck all for reward. <laughs> New upgrade level is now available for armor. Oh, what time is it? Is it too late for me to grab another drink? I don't think so. It's only 9 o'clock. Hmm. Actually, I really, I really shouldn't do more Mountain Dew. That'll just keep me awake all night. And as much as I would love to stay up for the entire night playing Monster Hunter... Really got to keep that sleep schedule going. I could go to like midnight, but I would have to like hard stop by that point. Like, okay, I'm going to bed. Straight to bed. Are at least going to have like a big party? I feel like these cannons wouldn't do anything against the Lava Godzilla. Gather people, we have much to discuss. All our preparations are complete, and I have all of you to thank for working double time to make it happen. I'm especially impressed with the fifth for hunting the Antonath despite being new here. That's one less misery standing between us and capturing Zora Magdaros. Well done. When will Zora reach the Great Ravine? Precisely at daybreak. Good. Let's run through the operation one last time, then. Our hunters will rendezvous on site. Once the beast appears, the operation will commence. We've built two barriers in the target's path. Your objective is to stop it at the first barrier, initially wearing it down with cannon and ballista fire, then restrain it with binders. However, there is a chance it will break through. If so, will initiate the mounting phase of the operation. During this phase, we'll attempt to weaken it further, so that we'll have a better chance of restraining it at the second barrier. Make sure you hammer it as much as possible with cannons and ballista. They're there for a reason. Affirmative, sir. Technicians, make sure you do a final check on the equipment before we begin. Yes, sir. Quartermasters, conduct an inventory on our supplies. Researchers, Proceed to the Great Ravine with your escort as soon as you're ready. We can't bring our quarry back to base, so take what you need and be prepared to conduct your research on site. Don't worry, Commander. Everything will be in order. Keep your ears open during the operation. I'll be giving orders as the situation unfolds. May the Sapphire Star light your way. Dismissed! I feel like there's no way this is going to go down how they think it's going to go down. Wow, the big moment is finally here. I'm shaking up a storm here. How about you? I think I want to make some new armor before I go and mess with this thing. Go carefully. See, this is this is what's super nice about World, is stuff like this. You didn't have this in the old Monster Hunters, like Toby Kadachi weak point. Okay, I can use you know blunt, or I can use slashing, or I can use gun. All those will work. All those will work. Like showing like specifically what's gonna go through this thing, what's going to tear it up. You know, breakable parts. The head's breakable. The chest is breakable. The tail's not. This, cool a coup. The head is the only weak point. I can, you know. Pookie pookie. Head's breakable. Wings are breakable. Tail is a weak point. Also breakable, severable. Anjanath. The face is breakable. Tail is severable. His claws are also breakable. Main weak point should be focusing on the tail or the head. Water does the most damage. Followed by thunder and ice. Poison, sleep, paralysis, and stun will all work a blast, not so much. Anjanath tail, Anjanath scale from the legs, fangs from the head. 
Like, that's super useful, man. Oh my god. Raytheon. Weak point, weak point, weak point. Fire don't work. Dragon tears it apart. I haven't fought a Rathalos yet. Fought a Diablos yet. Or a Magdoros. And then this. Well. It's our dude. It's super good to know to see that, though. Um, let me turn in. This. We can accomplish anything! Gonna gather some insects, take out a bunch of small monsters, Part, capture one large flying wevern. I haven't seen any in a while. Bird wevern, brute wevern, honey. Keep our eyes out for honey and shrooms. Right, let's go see what I'm missing for the new switch X. Headphones do I have? Uh, Sennheiser Game 1s, I think they are. Alright, dude. Time for some hard graft. Let me just go to Forge, actually, because then I can look at all the... See what has a Anjana sword does. What does it look like? Oh, dude! That looks pretty badass. The layman's on. Got a very, uh, very healthy German sounding name. There is no Anjanath Lance. This. Oh, baby. But it's a minus 20 affinity still, but it has 455 and fire caked in. Flamenbeel. I think I want it, man. I think I want it. There's nothing else to have a nice fire weapon for whenever I need it. Alright, let's upgrade it. Oh, uh, where's the bone axe? What do I need? Anjanoth Fang, only one. I need one Anjanoth Fang. And I can get it. Make the Baroth axe. For 20. This was. Yeah. Almost get that. Mm. One fang. I'll take down another Anjanath to get that right now. Um, so that would give me a solid fire weapon. And then I got this for exhaust right now. I kind of want to craft something that's um, either like water or ice. Because that would make taking down Anjanath just that much easier. And dual blades are probably the easiest to pull off. I'm gonna upgrade, let me see here. Or no, wasn't there a water charge blade? That could be fun. Not you, charge blade. No, there was thunder though. I could go for thunder for the charge blade. Oh no, there was a water. All I need is the aqua sack, it's 396 damage. Aqua sack, huh? Oh, man. Okay. I want that aqua sack because I'm going to make that and then I'm going to go hunt down the Anjanath with it and get my parts for the switch axe. Because going for the next, the, the next Zor mission, that's like, all right, boys, things are getting serious now. And before I get all balls deep into story, I want to have a couple different weapons to play with. Grab a drink. Run by the bathroom real fast. Let me make sure Jirototos drops, uh, drops that water sack. Like, I'm almost positive he does, but... 
Geotodos. Base and tail. Breakable. The fins are breakable. Fire. Water is extra effective once it's covered in mud. Thunder is extra effective until it's covered in mud. Aside from that, not much. Stun works really well. Poison, not so. Poison's okay. Paralysis is okay. Where do I see the... Oh, low rank rewards. Low rank rewards. Oh, I guess I need to get to research level 2 to see rewards. Oh, looks like we're hunting one of those down then. Go take it out. What a hell of a sinus infection. Hunting Anjanath. Oh. Did that already. Capture a bear up. The rewards. I could pick up a bear off while I'm out here, I guess. Yeah, why not? Alright, I'm gonna go grab my drink while this loads up. See, this is the kind of stuff where it'd be good to start doing some multiplayer, since I'm just going after to kill stuff. Well, no one joined because most people don't... I mean, the game... Technically, the servers don't go live for another, like, two hours. Well, I mean, no, not servers, but the game's technically not released for two hours, so... your specialized tools from the item bar. Okay, that's good. Let's eat up. Yep. These points. I'm always getting points. Uh, unpredictable platter. Can't, can't go that way. Um, where is water at? I'm interested to see how this new switch axe works, though. I think I needed... What do I need? I need mushrooms and... Something else. There's mushrooms and... That bone pile at? The medium bones still. 
got all my homework done early so can play the weekend away. That is a very, very responsible thing for you to do. So good on you, buddy. Most people I know would have probably just played the weekend away and then not turned in homework and then gotten bitched at. Might see it. I think that's what I need to make, uh, make my demon powder. Here real fast. Tori's full. And item. I need to start crafting stuff more frequently. Um, what I want to make? I want to make bombs. I, uh... Gunpowder level. That. And where are my barrels? Barrel bomb. Oh! I bought actual barrels that I don't see. Large barrel. I have large barrels. Just pulled them out of my inventory. What the hell, game? I have a lot of stuff set to auto craft. First aid med plus. Auto craft those. Mega nutrients are set. Just about everything that I can auto craft is set to auto craft. Might seed catalysts. Okay, well, I guess add catalysts into the mix and we'll start making those. Stamina. Powder, herbal powder. Wow, that neutralizes, restores health and neutralizes poisons. Might seed and god bug. One of these lasts longer. Caster. Powder. I know I just I just made gunpowder. The problem is like I have I have some stuff that's over in my my inventory and then I have other stuff that's like on my person and I need to I need to better I just need to like yank stuff out and let autocraft go to town. Cause like I could make the uh for example if I pull out the 
god bugs, and then I pull out the things that I just picked up. I think it was these two. Make me some demon powder, right? First aid, this should be first aid med plus. Yeah. Potions, regular potions, whetstones, rations, demon powder. This should be a trap. Alright, we've wasted a ton of time. Damn, I wasted almost five minutes just crafting stuff. There goes Bearoth, but I need to get the Gerototos first. I'm gonna demon powder and just beat the shit out of him. Got time for his shenanigans. Actually, no, I'll wait till I have him on land first. Better bet. thing just have that like is my sharpness on this new one just that shitty come on dude come over here yeah come on yeah I'll come running oh boy oh no I don't know whatever I'll do if you chase me hopefully you don't chase me up here Like that paralyze? I bet you do. Now, I want you to stay right there while I just beat the shit out of your face, okay? Thank you. 
Oh. That was very rude of you to do. What the fuck, dude? Come on! You can't just burrow up through rocks, okay? There's... that's... that's just getting silly. Yeah, the blade will turn um, based on kind of whatever it is, so you know, if I find one that's like lightning, probably get all electric and shit. And I mean, this is going down the bone branch, and traditionally, kind of one of the uh, the standard things of Monster Hunter is that bone weapons, they usually have a bit higher kind of uh, mid-range damage, but they lose their sharpness quicker, whereas using, um, you know, a, a, a basically not one of the, using like an ore type weapon, it has better sharpness. But that sharpness will go faster. It's gonna let these two duke it out for a bit. Yeah, go get him, Baroth. Actually, looks like Baroth's just running. He wants nothing to do with that shit. He's like, fuck no, dude. Wevern tear. Bitter tears wept by Weverns. What the fuck? Always use a paratoad. missed exhaust files yet. I mean, we've, we've paralyzed him a couple times already. I, mean, I think they, they both have their purpose. I'm going to be going to fire files soon, so... Tell you what, I come out of this quest though, I'm gonna have definitely, yeah, I just got an investigation added, I will definitely have level 2 Girotodos. At least level 2. Just, I hate that, like, everything's sticky mud, so it's just constantly, constantly having to do that. On, man, I just ran over here for you and now you're running away again. Fucking fish monsters, dude. I swear it's always the fish monsters. He's trying to escape. No, 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 dude. No, 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 he's trying to get away. He's departing.
You're not getting away! You were getting killed by me! You're gonna give up your water sack. Oh shit. No, Baroth, Baroth. We're working. We're on the same side, Baroth. No, no, I'm not, I'm not your enemy. Shit. Your tortoise material on the ground, I need it. Your tortoise fit. Dude, if this Jiro Todos escapes because you're attacking me, oh my god, I'm stunned. I'm gonna die. I'm not, wow. It's a fucking miracle. Got a little skull. That means it's about to get its ass beat. sack thing. Tortoise fin. Tortoise fang. Not gonna get the sack. Tortoise shell. Well, that sucks. But, what are you gonna do? Alright, let's go capture the Baroth. Baroth shouldn't be too bad. I can thorn pot it and take it out probably pretty fast. It's one of the benefits of like a full 50 minutes is you're not like... You know, I can dick around an in inventory for 5 minutes and it's not like the end of the world. Now you can capture monsters. I'm about to capture this big old thing.
Is he? He thinks he's slick. Tranks. Dude, you were supposed to go down. You're confused if you think I'm gonna let you keep running. capturing this bear off today. I thought he was tired. I guess he wasn't tired enough. Sleep herbs and perish rooms, so. huh? not limping but it sounded like like I, I hit a point where right when I uh, was first really going hard on it it started doing the like arr, arr, like the, the moan and groaning thing that it does when it's all messed up so I figured I had it low enough I was like oh alright you're ready for trapping time but that was not the case Thankfully, it seems like parish rooms and stuff is pretty, uh, pretty commonplace around here. So I can whip up some more and go, I can get a different trap. I mean, technically I don't need a trap. I could just re-paralyze it through the use of my paralyze and my sword. But then I run the obvious threat of accidentally killing it. I don't know. I'll try and paralyze it with my sword. I'll get it to where it's weak, and then I'll, I'll just do that. always wanted to cut your tail off, but you just didn't want to give it up on all those other hunts. I think today is the day, my friend. Coming in. 
Yeah, the tail is mine, you asshole. It's like, that was my tail! Wait, I just got a Baroth shell out of the tail? How does that work? You don't. Oh no, you don't. Might as well. I'm here. Might as well. Yes, if you capture him, you get to keep him as a pet. And you can ride them into combat and teach them tricks. Actually, most of that's a lie. That's that's not really how it works. You just get a ton of research. Thunderbug. the hard part because it's like do I kill him or can I paralyze him still maybe 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 maybe, maybe. didn't I have a uh... he might die I might kill him either if I can paralyze him here I'll be good I just need to paralyze him I need you to paralyze. Just just accept it. Alright, that's the paralyze. How do I drop down? There we go. Okay, there we go. Come on, take a nap, dude! Yeah, I know if you kill in a capture quest it fails, but it's not like I have much of a choice here. Yeah, I need more hitting and he's down. I need to... Fuck. <sighs> I'll go to camp, I'll, I'll craft a, a trap. Maybe I can craft a sleep trap? Trap, drink bomb. I have shock traps already, okay. Forty-seven. I don't have sleep traps yet. Drugged meat, maybe?
Okay. Uh, let's see, sir. We got. What do we got here? What do we got? We got. We got some drugged meat that should put him to sleep. We got the shock trap, and then we got um. Uh, strength bombs. One of these will work. Yeah, that is the problem. But I can probably wake him up with, uh, I can wake him up with my slinger. And that should do a low enough that it won't, won't, like, kill him. So basically, wake him up with slinger, draw him into a shock trap, and then just bomb on his face. need something that I can there we go red pit perfect Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. He just he just got he was like, oh I'm shocked I'm going to bed. I'll take it. <laughs> it's it's the prob problem solved, man. It's that's what we wanted. Wasn't exactly uh wait a minute. Bonus rewards. Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Aquasurk! 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 We got our aqua sack. Water charge blade coming up to kill Anjanath with charges. Watery explosions in his big fucking dumb face. All praise R and Jesus for the sack. Cowboy, did you want my sack? I want your sack. Get your broke ass sack out of here. <laughs> oh, I, was, I didn't mean to stay here, but since I'm here, um, twenty bubble cactuses. The fuck is bubble cactus? Getting yoked in the waste. Oh, these are cook quests. Two herbivore eggs, huh? All right, let's do it. If this will make the cooks happy, I'll do it. No, capture is not genocide. It's capture. They're going to study it. They even say, they're like, we need you to capture a Kula Koo for us, and then we're going to get the scout flies used to its scent, and then we're going to release it back into the wild. It's capturing. It is not killing. You capture it for study. Still sprint scale ledges and move along walls. Make sure you don't run out of stamina. By pressing square, you can't pick it up again. You'll drop the item. If you fall over or get attacked, you'll drop the item. So I need herbivore. Where do these dudes typically keep their eggs? Oh, oh, no, stop. What are you doing? Stop all the running around, man.
Rock fruit, rock fruit, rock fruit, rock fruit. Why would you release it after studying it? Can be used for perfectly good armor. <laughs> hey man, I don't make the rules. Alright, now I know. Let's see, is this... I think right back here is... This is the cave where Kulalaku is usually stealing eggs from. No eggs. Where do you guys keep your eggs at? I don't see any eggs around here. Gambling app you have going on? Uh, the one where you like spend booty tokens from watching the stream? Steal a Diablo thing? Uh, I mean, it is a herbivore egg. Considering I haven't found their eggs. What's wrong with the colors? It looks bleached. That might be something with your monitor, because I haven't heard anyone complain about the colors. They look very bright and vibrant on my end. Maybe Diablos isn't here? Light crystal. Well, if it has eggs, they're over here, I think. I don't think Rathalos would fall into the herbivore category. Though I don't like being back here, like, I half expect Diablos to explode out of one of these sand walls at, like, any second and just ruin my shit. I should have taken the cactus mission. I think these are what I needed for the cactus mission. I remember there was the nest where the Raytheon went, but Raytheon is definitely not a herbivore. I mean, the least I'm getting lots of materials and stuff, so I got that going for me, which is nice. Flashfly. I needed a uh, mushroom research, so that's knocked out. Yes, Diablos is a herbivore. Eats the cactuses. Goes num num num. Cactus is the... I don't know, man. Where the... Where are your eggs at? How do you get the stuff from the beta? Uh, you gotta play through, like, two or three missions. You should not have done that. As much as I don't like killing a mother in front of her children. Do you want some too? Oh, I needed small monsters. Oh, well, this works out then. Get off, birds! These are my corpses! Get 
birds. Sometimes you just gotta murder some Kestodons, you know? Well, while we're running around picking up stuff, let me, um... Let me, I'm gonna set up, like... Basically, anything that I can on Autocraft, I want to put on Autocraft. So, potions, catalysts, organizer, extra natural heal ability. If powder is god bugs, herbal powder is god bugs, and uses honey. Powder, demon, catalyst, and might seed. Hard shell powder, god, yeah. We have Adam and Seeds. Use it. Can be used during battles. It's neat. Smoke bomb. Toxic mist sounds pretty cool. Poison meat. Hinged meat. Drug meat. Net. Definitely craft nets. Power coating. Coating and ammo and all that, I don't really care. Well, coating I don't, but I do use guns, so. This is just normal ammo and herbs, I might as well have it auto craft that. Great burst arowana scale. Craft it from blaze nuts. everything all right so I got just about everything under the Sun is on auto craft now right right crafting list everything except for coatings which I don't want coatings because I never use the bow Sure, add those in. Life powders, nah. Herbal powders, nah. Catalyst that might fuck it. Yeah, add them in. Arm skin. Oh, it's the same as demon powder, but it's single. It's for you to use. Poison meat. Sure, why the hell? I mean, honestly, meat seems a little silly. I'd much rather make these, but I rarely have throwing knives, so do the meat. Okay. Should have honestly done that a while ago. Why bows are fun to use? I don't I don't like the bows. I don't I feel like the bow is just it's I don't know man. It's just shoot, shoot, shoot. Multi shot, dragon piercer, dragon piercer, dragon piercer. Like if I'm gonna use a ranged weapon, no there was ore up there. Um I'll use a bow gun any day of the week. So you were saying about the beta stuff? Oh, yeah. Um, go through a couple, like, once you get through a couple of the starter missions, just go to your tent and talk to, like, the little caretaker palico. Like, the one that's like, my name is blah blah blah, and I'll, you can use pets and shit here. Um, and there should be an option that says, like, redeem... Like, redeem items, basically. And it'll give you pre-order stuff, it'll give you beta stuff, it's all that stuff. Alright, we are officially allowing backseat. Where the hell do I find a freaking egg? I mean, I know there's the Raytheon nest. But I'm not trying to go to the Raytheon nest. It's like for its simplicity of ammo and agility. No, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying the bow's a bad weapon. It's not. There's no there's no such thing as a bad weapon in Monster Hunter. And anyone that says X weapon is bad, they're an idiot. And they need to stop playing the game. Because this isn't a competitive game. It's a game about enjoying yourself and killing monsters. Anyone that, that thinks Monster Hunter is supposed to be some uber competitive dick measuring contest, they don't know what it's about. I mean, I'll find a Kulaya coup to kill in a second, probably. Personally, I just don't like the playstyle of bows as much. I really like the bow guns, but I don't like the bows. The bows, for me, it's, like you said, it's high agility and there's a lot of shots, but 
I don't know. I I think it's because with the with the bow guns, you know, like you you build up to using your special, whether that's gonna be the the Weavern snipe or the Pierce or the or the Weavern snipe or the Weavern hard or the uh, you know the uh, Weavern blast, the explosions. Like you build up to this this. All right, let me drop out my my big damage thing. And with the bow, you have Dragon Piercer, and you can just spam the shit out of it. So every time I play bow, I feel like I'm better off just basically repositioning and spamming Dragon Piercer nonstop. And just by the nature of it, you know, doing that, it gets extremely repetitive. And I'm sure that's not how you're supposed to play bow, but... From my experience with using other things, I'm like, oh, well, if I can spam Dragon Piercer, why wouldn't I spam Dragon Piercer? So, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. You know what? I'm going to have lots of Paratoads by the time I'm out of here. Lots of Sleep Herbs. Making some drugged meat now to put everything to sleep. Where are your eggs? Tell me where your eggs are or I'll kill you. Like I keep seeing what look like broken down nests. See, hang on a second. Oh, gathering. Weaver an egg. All I see is Weaver an egg. Deliver it back to camp if you can. Where the hell? Oh, that's cool. It shows how long before it's refilled. That's really neat. I don't see any herbivore eggs. There's honey. All kinds of shit, but no eggs. Fuck it. I'm gonna go kill that thing just to break up the autonomy here. Not me. I can never say that fucking word. I'm just gonna go kill something because I'm bored and can't find eggs. home please don't maybe if I follow the Kulu enough it'll find eggs for me oh ho, ho, man Oh man, that was stupid. No, you pull out your rock. I'm gonna sharpen my weapon. I always feel bad about mounting this thing just because it's like, like, 
you're barely hanging on to this thing's head. And this just seems really fucking excessive. Need to like just barely get up to it here. It's hurt. Stop. Yeah, I'm about to make some armor. How do you think I'm chasing this thing down? Nice. Asian hey, cowboy! Hype. Nice to see team. this game out finally. Have not played one since the Wii U. Would you recommend? Have been working quite a bit, so have not had time to watch the beta. I would 100% recommend it. Alright, this is kind of silly. Like, oh shit, there's the guy! He bamboozled me! I never saw that coming. Eh. Poor dodo bird. I mean, it steals eggs. I heard it steals children in the middle of the night, and then it cracks them on rocks and eats them. No, that was a cool little coup egg. It's like a, it's like the stuff he, one of his uh, tracking things. It doesn't, it doesn't fall into the same category as the egg that I'm trying to find. Something good. Nice, another light crystal. All right, we still have yet to find the egg that we're looking for, though. You know what? Fuck this. I can just I can just say screw this. Not depart on an expedition. I don't want to go on an expedition. That kind of looks like an egg. Is that an egg? The wiggly litchy. You saw an egg here? Where? No, there's, there's, you, you won't spend 50 minutes and not find it. There's eggs somewhere. I don't know where. I have not uncovered them yet. I have uncovered this. That's a Wevern egg. That's not what we want. But somewhere on this map, there are eggs. Somewhere there is a camp of herbivores. They have eggs. We're gonna and we're gonna find those eggs. They're here somewhere. These guys gotta have eggs. These guys gotta have eggs. The question is just where are their eggs? Where are your eggs at, Kelby's? I want that thing. I think it's so fucking cute. Yes! Shepherd hair thing is totally gonna be my new pet. I think it was adorable. Yeah, quest is 50 minutes. Everything's Everything except for like specialist quests are 50 minutes. Like ones where it's like, I want you to kill two people and I want you to do it and... Two people and kill them both in uh, 
Kill them both in 30 minutes or something. Firearms. They all belong to me now. All the shepherd hares. Alright, they're all kind of guarding something over here. There wouldn't happen to be any eggs here. Yes, there would. Larger materials. Let's get this back to camp and prep it for delivery. We're like, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This motherfucker just took our egg. Ow, leave me alone. Ow, you killed your own baby. Monsters. That was for my omelet. Die. Why are you so fucking OP? Because these are herbivores, man. They're not trying to mess with this. Also, Swag Axe's life is why I'm OP. Okay, now let's try that again. Douchebags. I mean, I think you're, what you're supposed to do is probably, like, walk in here and take the egg and try to sneak away. But in reality, it's way, way easier to just murder them and then take the egg. Because now, I got an egg and, uh... I mean, this is how you run. You guys don't run like this when you're carrying heavy things? This is what heavy runs look like. I'm like, ugh. <sighs> Gotta go. Gotta go. No. Oh, man. No. No! Oh, shit! I ran out of stamina. It's okay. It looks like they were gonna get in the way anyway. They're like, murderer! Oh, these ones all respawned. You know, I'm really... I'm really starting to wish... That, ah, motherfuckers! This is the kind of quest where you just bring four people along, because then that way... You know, two people can just be on murder patrol and the other two can grab the eggs and then you just go. Are you being paralyzed while I steal your infant? Kind of fucked up when you think about it like that. Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh man, I'm getting low on uh... Oh! Whoa! No, man! Oh my god! You fucking herbivores! Nice! Thanks for the years of entertainment. Thought I would show some appreciation. Thanks, buddy. Key. You are the only one remaining. Die! 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 Die. Why aren't you just dead yet? They keep spawning in. My weapon's almost reached the point where it's just gonna bounce off everything. Alright. As long as nothing attacks me, it seems like I got infinite stamina. No, I don't. I need to occasionally walk. We climb up this. I don't think so. Oh man, I'm never. Oh my god, do not. I swear to god, if you fall. Oh, 
almost there. The worst part is, I need to do this again. I need two of these things. Oh, I missed the turn. Son of a bitch. I was supposed to go this way. There might be a camp down the hill, but this is definitely the closest. One egg delivered. Oh, now I gotta get a second one. We're halfway there, boys. Eggs do not break during roll. That's uh, something that's new with World. I wonder what would happen if I tried to do this, but I had, like, a ghillie suit on. Oh, you piece of shit! Oh my god, I hate this fucking quest so much! never see me. There's three of them. If this actually works... I don't know, man. They all look kind of... Wait, no? Oh my god. I'm just a bush stealing your babies. Wow. Ghillie suit. <laughs> Fucking OP, dude. <laughs> Why is our egg floating? Leave it, Jeremiah. It's the chosen one. Let the egg go. Beyond to the great skillet. Can't touch me, I'm too OP. Gilly suit for the win, dude. This is so nice. Oh, man. Uh, quest? Done. Thank God. Return to HQ, please. Oh my God. There really needs to be a, uh, like, take-all. Like, there's a sell-all. Hey! Cool la cool level 3 research! Oh, man. Where are we at time-wise? 10? Alright. Two more hours tops, and then I have to go to bed. Mm. Oven roasting. That's going to get patched. I don't know, man. I think that, I mean, it makes sense. It's the ghillie suit. Full steam ahead. All right. What investigations? Give me the booty. We got I want the booty. Hunt booty, Bear Wrath. Hunt Gerototus. There's a gold reward for it. 
I'll add that into the registration. Hunt Baroth. There's a gold reward on it. Anything that has a gold reward, I'll add on. Just because the gold ones are all... Like that, I don't really need that. I could remove that. Well, I mean, three silvers isn't bad, though. I'll keep them on. It'll be stuff, stuff to do with viewers. Anyway, uh, deliveries. Anginath Pelt and Monster Buns. Ancient Forest 2. Yeah, let's do it. Just to get the camp up. It's probably worth doing. Alright, honey. I need honey. Laura. Bone Piles. Mining. And Entomology. Wait, what's the other one? Complete two investigations. Okay. I'll save that for a later time. This will be sick on PC. It will, but, like, honestly, the PS4 version is pretty good. Like, I'd hope that the, the PC version, like, reduces load times. But, um... I mean, that's probably it. Anyway, let's, let's see. Level 3. Allergy. Hard and break. Fin, Fang, Fin. Rewards. Oh, okay, so I can't carve anything, but I can get Aquasac as a reward from it. And so that stuff only shows up when it hits level 2, it looks like. Low rank rewards don't show up yet. Alright, let's go make ourselves a charge blade. Actually, just before that, let me let me pull out as much stuff as I can, and I'm going to go. Uh, I'm gonna go a little craft crazy for a second here. Crafting list. Uh, crafting list. Craftable. Demon drug. Herbal powder. Got one god bug left, so pass on that. Flash pods are always good to have. Drug meat. Uh, net. Missing nets. Shock traps. I'm out of trap tools. Trap tools. How do I get trap tools? We have to buy trap tools? Coding, what's oh, ammo? Armor ammo. Um. There. Ancient potions. Oh, Kelby horns, huh? So Kelby's are on the list of uh, things I'm gonna murder a bunch from now on. Got bugs for that. Gunpowder. Never have too much of that. Flash pods. Make it. Eat. Ammo. Coding, no. Here's ammo one. 
have 300 already. Don't need that. Thunder ammo now. Sleep ammo. Craft that up as well. Target with strength. Not worried about that. Ah, uh, oh, it looks so much nicer. Everything is, is nice and neat and I can pull over exactly what I need. Potions. Oh, hang on. I don't really need regular potions. I mean, I guess it won't hurt to keep them. Um. But I mean, hang on a second here. Mega potions. I just make from regular potions and honey. So fuck, fuck these. I don't need these. I want those potions. I want max for emergencies. I like herbal medicine. It's good to have that around if I get poisoned. Elberries if I get hit with blight. Energy drink I don't really need. Moderate boost to stamina. Well done steaks. Good to keep around. Maximum health. If I'm fighting something hard. I can pop those up. Um... Flash pods are important to have on. From sensitive monsters. All, every, just about everything else is like stuff that's kind of situational. Large barrel bombs are always good to have on hand. And a trap is good to have on hand. Okay. It's just oh sweet. So at any time you can just go in and rechange appearance. Facial hair is a little too light. Dark. I don't want to let oh, there we go. See now it doesn't look like it's black anymore. <laughs> I think I might change up my hair too. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for because this looks kind of derpy. It looks too feathered. We'll go for that. When my hair is longer, it looks like that. Or do I want to give my guy longer? Oh, let's do that. I like that hair. I can't change his face, but I can change around my hair and stuff. Do armor? I haven't checked in a while. I should look at armor. Um. Oh, yes. Shepherd hair. Look at the little adorable thing running around. This is the best. Claim add-ons and bonuses. Nothing new. I gotta figure out how to do the uh, thing. Baroth armor, get new armor. I don't want the Baroth armor, man. It's so bulky. It looks silly. And besides, Anjanath armor is fucking caked with ton of attack. That's what I'm going for, if anything. Stop shouting for Baroth armor. It ain't happening. That guy looks badass. He's about to look more badass. First. I'm making me a charge blade. Time for some hard drops. Oh, wife who said, I'm going to bed. Love you. Aww. She's so sweet. Love you too, boo boos. Actually, let me go I'm gonna go get let me give my wife a kiss before she goes to sleep. I'll be back. <laughs> 